Leica M3 is arguably one of the best 35mm cameras ever made. However, if your preferred focal length is 35mm, you have a little problem. The widest frame lines of this camera are for 50mm. It means if you want to shoot wider than that, you're gonna need to use your imagination. Here you can see the frame lines of M3 with a 50mm attached. And here you can see the exact same frame lines when a 35mm is on camera. Now the first question that comes to the mind is that how much difference there is between 35mm and 50mm field of views. To better show this, I used my Leica M240 once with a 35mm and once with a 50mm lens, both focused around 1.2 meters. And you can see that the difference is quite a lot when using frame lines to compose this shot. To show this issue in a real world scenario, when you take photos of subjects with different distances, I did a short photo walk with my 35mm on M3 and a 50mm on my M240 and here are some of the results. To better show this, here I took a picture of my M3 viewfinder with the frame lines and overlapped it on top of my photos taken with M3 and then compared it with the 50mm on my M240. As you can see, using the 50mm frame lines for Terry 5 can definitely result in getting some unwanted elements in the shots. You can simply use your whole viewfinder and maybe uh, use your imagination to get a tiny bit wider. And if you are okay with this, then I'm uh, happy for you and a little bit jealous of you. Your problem is solved for good. Of course, uh, one thing is that the frame lines move when you focus on uh, closer subjects. Also, depending on how you look into your viewfinder, you can see a little bit more or less outside of the frame lines. And the other thing is that the frame lines are always there, so it's a little bit hard to uh, just simply ignore them. The next solution is to get an external 35mm viewfinder. This is more accurate, uh, but a little bit slower as you need to use your built-in viewfinder to focus and then use the passive viewfinder to frame your shot. If you like to do this, uh, there are different options out there. For example, you can get a Leica, Zeiss, Voigtlander, or even you can find some cheap options on eBay. The next option is to get a 35mm lens with goggles. The options are 35mm Summicron, Summaron f2.8 and Summaron f3.5 all with goggles. But um, what if you already have a nice 35mm lens and you don't want to add another one to your arsenal? Well, what I did, I looked for one of these goggles on eBay. It's rare that you can find one of these alone, but you may be able to negotiate with the seller to give you only the goggles for a reasonable price. Then all I had to do was simply put the goggles on top of my own 35mm lens. I used a hot shoe cover and uh, glued a piece of metal to it and then attached it to the goggles using its own adjustment screw. If you wonder why it has to be goggles and not one single correcting window in front of the viewfinder, uh, here you can see that with one single window 
your second image in the rangefinder mechanism remains big while your main image shrinks down and it will result in a ridiculous uh, view in your viewfinder. Now let's look through the viewfinder. As you can see, now your frame lines are suddenly wider and what you get is actually the field of view of a 35mm lens. So that's it. Here you can see that the goggles are stable even without the lens. And here is the rangefinder. Uh, this is the illumination window. And with this screw you can slightly adjust the goggles. I hope this video has helped you to see it's uh, actually very easy to shoot 35mm with a Leica M3. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram.